hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl sugar and if you did not know now you know hey girl hey and today i will be doing a most complimented winter perfume haul so if you like to see this keep on watching y'all it's been a minute and i am super excited to be back this time i am back with a winter haul perfumes that has been literally like been getting the most compliments like anytime i walk past somebody just anything somebody always like you smell good so yeah um i'm gonna share that with y'all today and we're gonna get right into the video okay y'all so in my phone I did write down some notes so that I can remember like you know what fragrance family that they are in how much it costs etc etc so I'm gonna be reading off my phone per usual to let you guys know you know what the tea is on the perfume the only reason why I'm gonna be reading off my phone is because I don't want to forget anything so yeah let's get into it okay y'all so the first perfume i have you guys probably already know what it's given what's the tea about it or whatever the case may be but i'm still going to share it and put y'all on to it for the girls that don't know and it will be ysl libre i hope i'm saying it correctly it's this bottle y'all she is literally like a gem like she smells so good put that on and you go on a date with your man yeah girl girl you gonna smell good you gonna smell good so let's get into the details on this so that was the wise early bray one ounce bottle the scent type is warm floral fragrance family is floral then the key notes would be lavender orange blossom musk accord and then our scent description will be bold and floral. And then the price is $90.10. This is with the um taxes. So, yeah. And the longevity, it lasts all day for me. Um, Very potent. Very potent. Very, 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 very potent. So, you don't need a lot. Um, Just a little one, two, and you're good to go. Because, baby, it is a very strong scent and y'all i recently just smelled the intense one this bottle right here already smelled strong with just a couple of but the intense one it smells so good but to me the intense smell a little sweeter than the original i don't know maybe it's my nose but that's what i'm getting from it but that was the ysl labre all right y'all so this next fragrance really has been having the people in a chokehold and also myself like the bottle is almost gone i had this bottle for like two years now and i'm just now really like using it this year like it's crazy y'all it's literally been having me in a chokehold mixed with this other perfume that i'm gonna put y'all onto and y'all let me know in the comments if it's given but the next fragrance that i'm bringing up will be alien goddess by mu glare this is the bottle and as y'all can see the girl is almost gone like told y'all have me in a choke hold like i'm not even kidding so y'all that is alien goddess by Mugler. oh y'all it's 11 11 look i don't know if y'all can see it but it's 11 11 y'all see it period make a wish make a wish make a wish make a wish okay let me get into the notes so this is the one ounce bottle the scent type is warm florals fragrance family is florals the key notes is jasmine vanilla and bergamot then we have the scent description i said that it was a blend of woody amber and floral notes so it's like a mixture of all of those like it, it has like a it's not really a strong scent though like it's not strong it's actually just right like you have the like it's the perfect blend like i'm not even kidding like the perfect blend the price is 92 dollars and 22 cents and the longevity i will say every six to seven hours you have to reapply the fragrance unless you mix it with something but this is alien goddess by mugler 
and y'all definitely should go and pick her up and let me know in the comments what y'all think all right y'all so my next one is pretty much giving the same thing it's giving been having the girlies and a choco when i'm walking past people oh what do you have on what do you have on what do you have on and i don't know his line or her line i'm not sure if it's a man or a woman but they line eats eats i really don't have like even the men fragrances i'd be like hold up wait a minute like this smells bomb so the next fragrance will be um paco Rabanne, fame y'all i chipped my baby i don't know if y'all can see but i chipped my girl she fell off the shelf so that is paco Rabanne, fame and that is the one ounce bottle as well the scent type is warm floral fragrance family is floral then the key notes are jasmine mango bergamot sandalwood and vanilla then we have the price which is 80 dollars the scent description it will be very uh, fresh but with a sweet scent so it's like a fresh scent but it also got like a hint of like sweetness to it but if you look at the scent description you see where I'm coming from then the longevity is four to five hours the scent that I was telling y'all about last alien goddess by Mugler and Fang these two together please do yourself a favor put those two together and you're gonna smell immaculate like it smells so good together y'all like I kid you not like I'm walking past people I'm in the car one day and the security guard who let me inside my job was like what do you have on like that smell good and I was like these two and she was like oh and gee like that smells so good so y'all do me a favor and mix these two together and let me know how you like it I love the smell I think it smells so good honestly so y'all just let me know but I'm telling y'all I'm trying to put y'all on like these two I've been having the girlies in a choke code so go get both okay y'all so the next fragrance I have is a new one that I smell I had went to Ulta Beauty during the Christmas time and this lady that was working in that section she had sprayed it and I'm like mmm that smell good what is that and she told me what it was and ever since that day I was like yeah I'm getting it like I'm getting it and I had bought it that same day I was supposed to get another perfume but then I ended up smelling this one and I fell in love with it ever since then so it would be the Chloe Luminese y'all she smells so good please go to Ulta Beauty and smell her like she smells so good so let's get into the notes this is the Chloe Luminese I want to say Chloe only has one size bottles. This was this was a, a pretty a pretty coin, okay? <laughs> only a one like I'm like, can I have the smallest bottle? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was like, can I have the smallest bottle? And she was just like, oh no, like this is the only size. This little baby bottle. Ciao. Okay, so the scent type is warm florals the fragrance family is florals then we have the key notes would be jasmine sambac organic rose essence vanilla and huchili i hope i pronounced that right if y'all know y'all know um the scent description is that this scent smells sweet with a hint of vanilla i have to smell it again Mm, oh my gosh y'all this this smells so good yeah it definitely has like a hint of vanilla in it y'all but it smells so like it smells so good like I can't really put my hands on like a scent scent but I know for sure this smells so good and y'all really need to go and smell it the price was $143.50 and for my longevity it did pretty much last me for four to seven hours so definitely go to Ulta Beauty and get y'all one of these because it smells good all right y'all so my next scent is from the K. Ali's collection and let me just say K. Ali really been doing this big one with his fragrances like 
I think she has a pretty cool collection, honestly. This scent right here, I went to the mall with my granny and my mom. And my mom and my grandmother both love this perfume. And when I had smelt it, I was like, mmm, this do smell good. And I was supposed to get it that day, but I didn't end up getting it that day. It was gifted to me for Christmas. So, um, I'm happy for that. So, it would be the Kate Alley Utopia Vanilla. And this is what the bottle is given. So pretty so that is the one ounce bottle i believe 1.7 ounce bottle and the scent type is warm florals fragrance family is floral the key notes is jasmine vanilla bourbon and coconut definitely get coconut out of this the scent description it gives like a vanilla coconut but very soft and it screams i'm here it stays on all day. Like, I'm not even lying to you guys. The price is $106. And the longevity is, for me, it stays on all day. Like, I really don't have to keep reapplying this. Um, With any K. Ali scent that I have, I really don't have to keep applying it. Like, the Eden Juicy Apple. Hmm. Chef's Kiss. Like, that's probably one of my favorites. But since we go on winter... She has definitely been that girl for me. K. Ali collection is only sold in Sephora. So, yeah, y'all gotta run to Sephora and go and smell her. Because she, she's that girl. Alright, y'all. So, my next fragrance, I've been wearing it since I got it, honestly. This was another gift for Christmas that I've gotten. And, baby, the first time I smelled it is when I went to Macy's. And I literally could not stop talking about this scent ever since I smelt it like I'm the type of person if I say something about it I have to get it like it's no if ands or buts about it so with that being said my next fragrance will be Jimmy Choo I want you y'all Jimmy Choo she is that girl like she smells so good and I'm so mad because y'all when I first got the freaking perfume, I'm thinking that this part right here is the top, y'all. How about I pull it off and break it? So now, like, it be, like, dripping out, but it's cool because I'm still going to wear it. I'm still going to find a way to spray it, and we still going to make it work. So, y'all, let's get into the notes. So, this is Jimmy Choo, I Want You. The scent type is Warm Florals. The fragrance family is Florals. The fragrance notes is mandarin juice, vanilla, and jasmine. The scent description is it has a base vanilla note, but it doesn't scream vanilla. It's floral, but it's mixed with vanilla. So very soft, very just like, it's, y'all, it smells so, y'all, this, it smells good. Like, it smells very, very good. Um... So yeah, it's like a floral, vanilla type thing. Like you could get a good mixture of both. But I'm definitely getting more floral than vanilla. The price is $79.50 for the this bottle. And the longevity is all day. One thing about Jimmy Choo, baby. Well, I'm not going to say one thing about Jimmy Choo. Because this is my first Jimmy Choo perfume. But as far as I know, it stays on all day long and after. Like... I'm not even kidding to y'all. Like, this joint stay on for so long. I had a jacket, and I'm like, it smelled good, but like, what, what is, like, what is that smell? Where's that smell coming from? It was this perfume the entire time. Like, I smelled it like two days after I originally wore it. So, Jimmy Choo, if y'all keep making some perfumes that smell good, and it lasts long, just know. I'll let your girl, because... Y'all, this stay on all day and it smells so freaking good. Like, I will not lie to you guys. Like, this smells so good and it lasts all day. So, go to Macy's or to Beauty, Sephora. I don't know where the person got this from, but go to one of those and pick up Jimmy Choo. I want you. All right, y'all. So, I am coming to the last perfume of the haul. And y'all know at the end, I always got to throw a little bit of a affordable perfume in there. So, with that being said, 
this has been one of my favorite perfumes this is the perfume that i went to work this is the perfumes that i definitely get compliments over all this like all the time this perfume also has a dupe and yeah so with that being said let's get into it this is the zara velvet shadow and baby literally my favorite perfume like my favorite affordable perfume other than ariana grande vanilla mod zara Zara did they big one with this. With this one, I do have to keep reapplying it. But, like, y'all, it smells so good. Like, I got so many compliments. All right, y'all, so let's get into the notes. The scent type is warm floral. The fragrance family is floral fruity. Then the key notes is citrus, sweet, white floral, powdery, and fresh, spicy. I don't know where they're getting the spicy from, but I don't know. I don't know where they're getting the spicy from, but whatever. The scent description is, this scent is very fruity warm with a hint of marshmallow scent. It has like a little marshmallow like vibe to it. Like, it smells so good y'all. Like, please, before the winter ends, y'all better go run to Zara and get one of these. But leave me one. I'm on my third bottle. Leave me one. But yeah, it smells really, really good. This perfume could range from $17.90 and $35.99. This bottle right here was $35.99, but if you get the smallest one, it'll be $17.90. The longevity, like I said, four to five hours doesn't really last long. I have to reapply it all the time. So, yeah, but what can you expect? It's an affordable perfume, but it smells super, 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 super good. So, run to your nearest Zara and pick up Velvet Shadow by Zara. Alright y'all, so that comes to an end for my video. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like the video and turn on that post notification. Every time I post a video, you would know. And comment down below which perfume is y'all favorite, which one y'all got. If y'all mix any together, let me know, ladies. Like, let me know because I love a good scent. Also, if y'all have any new perfume suggestions, let me know. So I can go pick them up, smell them, do whatever I need to do, and I can do a review on them. Y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Like I said, again, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.